For rural communities in the Permian Basin, it can be hard or challenging to get access to much needed health care. Now, new drone technology will make that a lot easier. Christina Burgess had the chance to check out, check out these drones and find out all that they can do. Yeah, Crystal, this drone program will help to enhance access to health care for rural areas right here in West Texas. I had the chance to see one of these drones take off into the sky and see how it works. Thanks to these drones, healthcare essentials like medication, vaccines and test results will just be a quick flight away from remote and rural areas, giving them easier access to healthcare. Having the ability to bring healthcare to your community, it's not going to solve all the problems, but it could solve a lot of the problems of access combined with the rural healthcare program and physicians and the telehealth program, all these things combined give our communities greater access. This will help to replace the long trips healthcare professionals have to take to deliver or pick up medication, bridging the gap for healthcare professionals and their patients. What that does is that if they're having a telehealth visit, that allows the, the drone to carry important cargo to the patient and or cargo back to the healthcare provider, such as test results. And the process is as simple as one, two, three. And then it's as simple as using your index finger to push a button, hold it for three seconds, and the plane automatically counts down, launches on its own, flies a route over 80 miles last week, and then lands on its own with GPS enablement. Harmon is hoping these drones fix a problem impacting most rural communities. Uh, it is a panhandle problem, it is a Texas problem, but more importantly, it is a problem across the United States. And if we can solve one piece of the healthcare problem, then we've done our job. The Matador UAS Consortium hopes to have these drones taking their flight by next year.